Hello everybody, Lego Boy 3 here. Uh, today we have a unboxing, which is my Moyu Waisu, and I also have a couple other cubes. As you can see, it is already open, so that's because uh, we got it and my mom didn't know what it was, and she just opened it. It was supposed to come uh, tomorrow, but it actually uh, took only like two days because uh, Amazon Prime two-day shipping. But anyway. Here we have a Shang Chao cube. Three, three by three. Another Shang Chao three by three. And the Mo Yu Weisu. Pretty heavy. Um, let's get that away. Um, so, here we go. I think we'll open these uh, Shang Chao cubes up first. Um, that's an extra interesting textured sticker. It looks almost like a cube with tile. Um, I'll have to check that out. Oh yeah, that definitely does have a- oh wow. That feels like, almost like a cube from this tile. Wow. Um, does this one have it too? Oh yeah. Um, the reason I got these was actually to take the stickers off and put some other stickers on, but... Yeah, these have interesting stickers. Um, I wouldn't even consider them stickers, I'd probably call them tiles, but... I guess they changed it since the last time I bought one of these. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks like this is actually just a textured sticker. Yeah. It just looks pretty cool. But, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be taking the stickers off. So I'm to uh, let's move those over to the side. Uh, now, the real awesome was the. Uh, this is what the video is for. Yep. Well, okay, actually, <laughs> let's uh, get the Moyu Waisu out. So, this is uh, one of the best types of 4x4 there is, I think. Uh, yeah. So, it looks like it's taped up really well. Let's get the stick scissors out. Okay, here we go. Cut that open. Ooh, that looks like a nice shade. It's a very vibrant orange. Little instruction manual thing. And here we go. It does have a bunch of pictures of the mecha mechanism on the outside. Uh, here we go. <laughs> What's that thing? Is that like clear thing to protect the logo, I guess? Anyway, here it is. Let's do the oh wow. And that's very clicky. Oh, I see the problem. One of those uh, little bumps is out of alignment. I'll have to fix that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would fail. This side feels really nice. And this side. But, wait, where is it? <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to fix that one second. Let me get into the mechanism. Here we go. Okay, now that I take this apart, I see that all they've done uh, to keep this inner thing from staying, uh, from not rotating, to have this little tiny notch that goes into that little tiny notch in the center, right there on the side. So I'll have to, it wasn't screwed in right, so I'll have to fix that and I'll assemble it and get back to you. Okay, I fixed it there. <laughs> um, uh, it looked like it was just screwed in wrong, but this is a good time to look at the mechanism. As you can see on here on this uh, edge piece, basically it is a V cube knockoff. I think it looks almost identical to it, only the pieces do feel a lot sturdier. And as you can see on here, it has a little like torpedo piece. I think that is. 
to lock it underneath this, uh, these centers. And yeah, that definitely works pretty well. Uh, so once we get this back together, yeah, that's definitely a lot better. So yeah, um, let's see corner cutting real quick. Uh, this is for this corner cutting. It can do, yeah, if you force it, it can do like QB. That's pretty good. Compared to my uh, other 4x4, my V cube. If I try and do a QB, I don't know that does do it pretty well. But it does catch quite a bit too. This one, it does it pretty easily. But the main thing is backwards corner cutting. Let's see if can it do a half QB? Yeah, sorta. Well, if you kind of wiggle it a little bit, the corn does get stuck on that piece. But it can do small amounts well, I think. And it does get caught, but <laughs> it should be okay. Unlike on the VQ4, where it can't do anything at all, even if you wiggle it back and forth. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'm gonna do a solve on this real fast, I'll time myself. And we'll see what time I get. Okay, I just solved it there, and uh, without warming up or anything, I got a time of 2.20, which is pretty good for me. Uh, actually, halfway through, I had it pop. Uh, this piece, the edge piece, and these two centers, as well as the inner piece, popped out. But that's because it's probably a bit too tight. Uh, I did feel, especially when I was solving it as a 3x3 at the end, it did feel pretty tight, so... Uh, I'm probably gonna, and it did feel pretty loose, so I'm probably gonna tighten it up a bit. But yeah, it, well, it definitely felt really good. And by the way, I did get uh, edge pretty, so yeah. But yeah, this was a great cube. I'll be sure to tighten it up and uh, play around with it some more. And I'm gonna try and get my times down to around a minute 45, maybe a minute 30 if I can. But anyway. Uh, I guess that's it. If you any, have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you later. Bye! Just one more note. This, the reason I did buy this cube was for U.S. Nationals. I needed a nice cube, so, yeah. Bye!